What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you watched the last episode, then you know we decided to play in 12 poker rooms in seven days. Last episode, we played a 5-5 session at Orange City where we got some revenge. This year, our goal is to play in 50 different poker rooms. Before this challenge, I've only played in three so far, Tampa Hard Rock, Orange City, and Maryland Live. After last episode, we have played in a total of five, adding on Club 52 and Port St. Lucie Card Club. This episode, I play a variety of games, Stick around to the end to see how we won out our opponent in a bomb pot. Just like part one, I could only play 30 minutes to an hour in each room as we were driving a lot. After driving 50 more miles from Port St. Lucie to West Palm Beach, I stopped at LA Fitness to get in a quick workout. The goal again is to lose 25 to 30 pounds. I arrive at Palm Beach Kennel Club around 12.50 in the afternoon. Unfortunately, the wait list was way too long. They only had one game running that I could join it was a two straight. Basically this game, you only can bet a max of $2 on every street. We bought in for $60 and played about 10 minutes. We won one hand where we hit a nut flush and we finished up about $11. It was nice running into some familiar faces who used to deal to us at the Isle Casino. Shout out to Daisy. I was a little disappointed that I didn't get to put in at least an hour in a bigger game, but we continue on. We head south, a 45 minute drive to Coconut Creek, and we arrive around 2.30 p.m. I actually used to live in South Florida for about 10 years before relocating to Tampa. I didn't play here that often as the poker room used to be downstairs on the casino floor and there was a ton of smoke. I'm pretty much allergic to cigarette smoke as well as the cold. This is a beautiful poker room. It is now located upstairs. This is a huge improvement. Um, it was really great seeing some familiar faces. After waiting for about 15 minutes, I get called for the 2-5 No Limit game. I buy in for the $1,000 max. Jumping into the first hand, we were about $1,000 effective. We pick up King-10 off in the cutoff, the hijack limps. I decide to isolate to $25. The big blind, the hijack, both call. The flop comes 10-10-5, rainbow. When it checks over to me, I decide to down bet 25. I'm looking to get called by a smaller pair or a five or two over cards to a 10. Surprisingly, both opponents call. The pot is now about 150. The turn is a six. The board is still rainbow. The big blind leads out for $50 into 150. The hijack then min raises to 100. At this point, we think about folding as each player is showing strength. I decide to call and see what happens. The big blind also calls. Pot's about 445. The river is a nine. When both opponents check it over to me, I contemplate and think about checking back. I really felt in game that I could get called by worse, maybe queen 10, jack 10, 10, eight. I decide on a sizing of 180 into about 445. The big blind thinks for a few and decides to shove all in. He has us covered. The hijack then goes into the tank. What is he thinking about? Well, he eventually calls. We take some time, but ultimately we decide that we're beat and we go ahead and fold. The big blind shows 10-9 for a full house and the hijack also shows a full house with pocket sixes. We get two outed on the turn and then we get three outed on the river. After losing this pot, the game almost breaks, but one player decides he wants to play Crazy Pineapple. Crazy Pineapple is a game played similar to No Limit Hold'em, but instead of getting dealt two cards, each player gets dealt three cards face down, and after the flop, you have to get rid of one card. This is done before seeing the turn. It's been a while since playing this game. The first hand of Crazy Pineapple, I lose a small pot with six, five, four. This next hand, I look down at King, Queen, four in the hijack. The low jack opens to 20. I elect to call. The blinds also call. We're going four ways to a flop of all kings. Wow, we flopped the absolute nuts. There will be no embracing the variance in this hand. We decide to discard the four once it's checked to us. The turn is the six of clubs. The small blind decides to lead into us for 50. I decide to call. The small blind checks. I go ahead and decide to put out a bet of 110. Our opponent doesn't take too much time and does indeed call. We win $99 for hitting the high hand immediately. And eventually we also win an additional $199 after our high hand holds up. Let's go. 
I end up losing $328 at 2.5 and I win $698 playing Crazy Pineapple for a total profit of $370. So far, this is one of my favorite poker rooms that I've played in and the only room that I've ever seen Crazy Pineapple run consistently. There was also a PLO No Limit Mix game that I definitely would play in. If I move back, I would consider playing this game every day um, and making it my main game. I took the short drive over to Harris Pompano. This casino was formerly known as the Isle Casino. This used to be where I would play almost every day. It was only about a 10 minute drive from where I used to live when I first moved to Florida. They've done a lot with the area. The casino is now located right next to a Top Golf. I believe this is only the second time playing here since they switched from the Isle to Harris. Fortunately, when I arrive, I don't have to wait for a seat. We jump right into a 2-2 PLO game, buying in for the 1K max. The first hand I get involved is a bomb pot. Each player puts in $10 before the flop. The pot's about 70. We get dealt 8-7-3 deuce. On the bottom board, we flop a wheel on 8-4 deuce. On the top board, we flop trips on jack 8-8. Eight, eight. An early position opponent bets $70. A middle position player raises to 250. When it gets to me, I decide to pot it to 890. Both opponents end up all in. The early position opponent has top set on the bottom board and nothing much on the top board. The second opponent has Jack Jack 10 4 with two hearts. So he flops a full house, Jack's full of eights on the one board. And then he has a backdoor flush draw on the other board. Amazingly, I hit an eight to one out our opponent on the first board. On the second board, our opponent goes runner, runner, flush. So we end up chopping the opponent that flopped top set of aces. We were both able to embrace the variance and win half the pot. The next hand, I'm in the big blind. The small blind is the rock directly to our right. I decide to go ahead and complete with eight, seven, five, four with three hearts. The under the gun raises to $20. Two players in the field call. The small blind also calls, and I decide to call as well. The flop comes out king, 10, 9, all hearts, so we flop a flush. Our under the gun opponent elects to C bet into the entire field. He bets one fifth, $20 into 100. I'm not really sure what this bet is supposed to represent. I feel like if he had flopped the flush, he would bet more to get value, um, especially if it was the nut flush. Seeing how we have three hearts, it takes away a lot of combinations. So when it folds around to me, I call. The turn is the six of clubs. I decide to check again, as our hand at this point is only a bluff catcher. Our opponent bets 85. I again decide to just make the call. The river is the queen of spades. I check it over one last time. Our opponent puts out a bet of 115 into a pot of about 310. This is just way too good of a price to fold in this spot. I do decide to make the call and our opponent shows Broadway with the Ace of Hearts. I'm honestly not sure if our opponent was betting here for value or betting as a bluff. My guess would be it was for value. Maybe he thought we were calling down with a set, trying to fill up. Either way, we make the call and we finish up $755 after being in for only 1K. After the session, we decide to grab some dinner at Jay Alexander's before checking into the Hyde House in Dania Beach. This day here was free, except for the $10 parking charge. So far on this trip slash series, I have played in six poker rooms and we have six more to play. Next part in the series, we will be heading to Seminole Hard Rock Casino in South Florida. Thank you for watching, guys. Remember to embrace the variants in life and in poker.